Welcome to step 7 of making a top-down adventure game in Pico 8. In this step we'll add doors. If you just started Pico 8, you'll need to load your game. Once it's loaded, hit escape and we'll get started. The first step in adding doors is to make our door sprites, which we'll do in the sprite editor. Doors need two sprite tiles, open and closed. They'll need to be side by side, just like the key sprites. The first door sprite tile will be what it looks like closed. Because this is a door, we mark it with sprite flag 2, but since we don't want the player walking through this door just like a wall, we'll mark it with sprite flag 0 as well. This means this is a door and you can't walk through it. The second door sprite is what the door looks like when open. Now, it may look like a door, but for the purposes of our game and from the player's point of view, it's just a regular walkable map tile now, so we don't need any sprite flags on it. We also need a door opening sound, so we'll make that at sound effect number 2. You can make it sound however you want. Now let's add the code to make our door work. It's not a lot of code. Switch over to code tab 1 and let's add an open door function. This function takes an xy coordinate of which door we're opening. First, we subtract one key from the player since it takes one key to open the door. Then, since the door is now open, we swap this door's sprite with the open door sprite tile. Once it's swapped, we play a door open sound, which is sound effect 2. Since doors are something the player interacts with, we need to add some code to our interact function to check and see if the player is interacting with the door. Switch over to code tab 2 and we'll add two lines of code to our interact function. Notice we're just adding on to our if statement here. So if the tile the player is interacting with is a key, do that thing. But if it's not, then let's see if it's a door and the player has at least one key. This is really important. We don't want to open the door just if the player tries interacting with it. We only want to open the door if it's a door and the player has a key. But if it is a door and they do have a key, then we should go ahead and run our open door function. Lastly, let's add a door to our map so we have something to use a key on. We'll just add one here to our little house thing. Now let's see if this works. Let's save the game with Control S and then run it with Control R. First, let's try opening the door without a key. Nope, doesn't open, that's good. Okay, now let's get a key. Let's look at our inventory and see, yes, we do have a key. Now let's try the door. It works, it lets us in. And looking in our inventory, we see that we used up one key, perfect. In the next step, we're gonna add animated tiles. This will be useful for things like traps. 